All right. I have not had this power saw out for a long time. I fabricated an old Pioneer muffler, friends. And I didn't like it when I first put it on because I noticed inside it had some, uh, it actually had some, some baffling issues going on. Just the construction of the muffler was, was interesting. Uh, I actually didn't like it. So uh, I did a little repair to the sucker. Come on, sucker. You know what I'm saying, friends? I don't know how long that's gonna last you guys there, but we're just giving it a, a stroke. I'm just gonna go hand file on this. The vibration of this might knock you guys off. But we got a whole pile of bucking to do. You guys haven't seen this job yet. cold out friends hence the gloves it's the only time i wear gloves really was uh maybe if i'm rappelling or rigging or uh it's cold i think i might have a reed issue with this saw i think not positive but i think i do So Bear Claw's got a hold of my, my wood bullet, friends, and he freaking loves it. My daughter made that. My daughter actually made that, friends. Isn't that beautiful? The wood bullet journey continues. Got some exciting news, friends. Talk to you guys in a minute. So friends, <laughs> I, I, I'm just, <laughs> it's just one after another here. I, I got something to show Brian. Brian's been, I'm with, up with the claws here. And remember we were down here testing them 120 or them, uh, what were they, Brian? They were the 2100s. Joe something else. Yeah, well, well, Brian, this is that blowdown. Old Knuckles here, he's, I've been telling him about my wood bullet. And he, uh, I said, when you get these logs up, Brian, give me a hauler. And I'll bring these axes up, and uh, we give him a sh we're going to give him a, a, a shot a shot here in the fur. But anyway, oh hell, Brian's got his. So this is the still, Brian, eh? Or no, oh, I, German. I, yeah, I I don't know the exact pronunciation. Oshkenchenko or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's German. It's Oxhead, really. Same same brand as Oxhead. Uh, yeah, might be. It is. Yeah. yeah, and you like you split with that, don't you, Brian? Oh, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then you're going to like this unit, this wood bullet. Yeah, but, I've always liked axes. But friends, look at this. I come here, he's got the skitter going. And he's he's got, now this looks like a, a, a 57, Brian. Oh yeah, you should try a cut with that. That's that organ chain, but that's full house. I love that little saw. That's a, that's the, the 357? Yeah. Yeah, you they're lovely. Get them no, I know. You know that I, 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 I traded a guy one. I should have probably kept it, but I, I like the Mac, eh? Oh, there, I like it too. I traded him a, a a Mac for it. He loves it. It was a Walker I saw with the big dogs and that, but that that is a good saw. Um, so anyway, friends, I I come up and he's got the skitter rolling and he's got the freaking logs. I brought him up a coffee. We're gonna have a little heyday here in a few minutes, but Brian's gonna give this axe a try in a few minutes after we finish our coffee. Brian, these logs look nice. This one was a dead snag. It's dry. Again, my wood strategy for stocking or piling, it's going to go where. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's to hit the sun right away. Well, it's cleaner than this. Uh, well, this just got a little bit of skitter dirt, but that's nothing. Yeah, but I'm, I mean, the, like the outside's got a little bit of starting here, eh? Yeah, but that'll, when it dries out, that'll be fine. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it'll burn nice. That's a nice size log, Brian. Oh, yeah. So anyway, friends, I just, you know. It'd be hard to sell a log like that. The only one that take couch and timber would probably take that. Cause they could get 15 inch and they could cut a 10 by 10 out of it or something. Long hoe. No, they won't take it. Nope. No. Sound and round for long hoe. Is it? Yeah. Look at this, Skitter 404. Timberjack. Yeah. All right, anyway. We're gonna get, uh, so friends, we're getting into this thing here. Rye's just looping in. This little 357, you guys remember that one I had years ago? Look at this. This is blow down. This came blowing down in Brian's property back in here. Friends, this man that we're in the presence of right now, um, uh -huh. it, most of you have heard me talk about him when I got hooked up with him. Uh, it was a complete honor and a compliment. Um, he, he, he's the best around. He's, he's been doing this forever. He's almost 70 years old, and he's freaking falling steady. Um, he gets on this little power saw. Watch, his, watch him run this. And just think about this. This man is, is, is a legend. Friends, listen to the RPM of the saw and listen to what he does if it starts revving too high. Just watch the man run the saw. Seriously, anybody who's learning to run saw or getting on saw, watch what this man does. Isn't that a fun oh, little? Yeah. I mean, you can feel the vibration. It's not mounted like these other ones, but still pretty smooth. And the chain is, I don't know if it's got a grind on it or. I don't know. I think it's a, yeah, I think it's, it's stock. stock. Oh, yeah, maybe it is. Tell. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can get that to cut way, way better. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's a stock chain. But isn't that a nifty little power saw, Brian? Well, it's amazing. Yeah, I, I love running it because it's light. And in, in that stuff right there, Brian, it's fun.
Really fun. Yeah. But even this, Bri. Yeah. I thought you'd like that. Jeez. Amazing. The Tin Man built that. A buddy of ours. He's a Canadian boy. Oh, wow. He lives in, in, uh, in East, back east of ways. Huh. Isn't that nice? Oh, and he's done some work on it. He, he did quite a bit of work to this power saw, Brian, actually. Yeah, he sure goes. Yeah, he did, he did a nice job. A Isn't that a funny little muffler? Yeah. He says it just lit the saw right up. Oh, I'll bet. I mean, I've been saying that for ages. It's amazing what exhaust will do. And look at it, just simple, straight out. I know. You know, they put all these crazy things on there and you just... Yeah. Anyway, that's that's well, fun, eh, Brian? Even, even again, like, look at the space here. You could have it come out. It could turn and come out this way. And exactly. you got more pulling power. A little bit of a tube. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. No, I wanted you to try that. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Here, I'll get her for you. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's, I sure enjoy it. Tin Man, coming from that guy, you just got some kudos, buddy. That's a nice saw. Good job, Tin Man. Good job. Yeah, nice. It is, isn't it, Brian? Yeah. It's got pull for a little saw. Oh, it's amazing. I okay. It. Okay, so, Brian, I want to, I want you to tell us, if you don't mind, you, you, you had a little, okay, now that's a deal. Oh, yeah, I see what he's after here. Well, that there is an Australian axe, Brian. Okay. Now that, uh, is one of my favorite tools. I brought that up for you to give a go. I'm just going to chop some dirt off. I figured you were going after that bark. Yeah. I was actually looking at your little lighter. Yeah, yeah, the thing about, the nice thing about that bark, yeah, is, is that right there. She just shanks right off there. Oh, look at that. That's lovely, Brian. It I brought it up right this. away, eh? What's that, Brian? Bite straight away, Mike. The axe I use for falling is you don't get it just exactly right. They chip it off. It skips off. Mine's, mine's the same. I really? kind of got tired of that, Brian. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. That that one, it seems to work pretty good. But now... <clears throat> Try this thing, Brian? Or you like that bamboo? Well, it don't matter either one I like. I like that that heavier one. Definitely I think had a little more impact. It it does that. Look at that. That's what I like about these axes that we've put together, friends, is they, they stick in. They stick in. I talk about it all the time, friends. I'll go this side. I'll get after this one, right? Uh, do you want to roll it out where you got some? Yeah, we could go out there, couldn't we? Go out there, couldn't we? Yeah. That's actually I a good hate, idea. I hate tripping over the wood. Yeah, no, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Closer too, you don't have to go digging for it. Hey, what do you think of that, friends? Look at that beautiful footage out the back for you there today. Nice field, pasture, even a John Deere in the background for you today, friends. Some old man. Yeah. Cripple. Some old cripple. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Oh yeah. Well, 
that does work nice. I'll go over here. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna throw the cores in again, Brian? Or? Yeah. So friends, I use that new grinder of ours to put a little edge on my big five pound double bit, friends. You know what I'm saying, friends? Yeah, friends. It's just crazy, that grinder. Joe, thank you again, Joe, for your part in this. Hey, you crazy guy. Callan, Garrett with the abrasives, combat abrasives. Garrett, thank you, brother. I think it's that 300 grit I was rocking on here. I think so. That really smooth one. It almost takes the burr off for crying out loud. It's beautiful. Garrett, thank you. And last but not least, what's your name again? <laughs> Nate, you're a crazy guy for doing this. I appreciate the heck out of all you guys. Thank you so much for doing that for us. That grinder's amazing. It's amazing. Garrett, Garrett at Combat Abrasives, Sunday, 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 get your tickets to the Monster Abrasive Situation, Bucket's got a 2x48, variable speeds, <laughs> I can't even believe this, I'm just playing around and I don't even know if I, am I, can this be as tight as like, like that, is that, you know, is that how it's designed? It just goes as tight as it's supposed to go? And what, this is supposed to be hooked up here, and that's how that goes, I guess. Right? How am I looking? Yeah. Remember, see Steve Looney? So, friends, I'm that? swinging the, Steve Looney, remember? the five pound double bit. And the claw can't put this axe down. Friends, he, he, he said the words. He says, he started saying, I haven't really used an axe like this in, in years. And then he said, forever. Friends, the wood bullet is the business for splitting firewood. We wanted to design a firewood splitting tool. And this man, uh, he, he was actually astounded. By, by how it worked. And he's used every axe for years. And uh, he was pretty excited about it. He, he can't put it down. I left it with him for a bit. Yeah, I 
give this one a go, Bri? We'll get a couple more off of there, eh? This is this is a big double. A real big double. Gosh, those hearts are lightweight. Mm -hmm. That's why I split them out. Yeah. Keep them separate. Oh, well, you could burn them right now. You, you know. sure can. Yeah. Friends, did you know that you can take a fir tree, pull the cores out, and burn them right now? They're bone dry. Right when you can fall a tree and take the centers out. That's what we used to do in the winter when we had no wood. See that app looks like it's working, Brian. What about this thing here, Brian? Okay. That's enough of that for now. Hey, yeah, the tin man, he sure done a nice job on that power saw. Brian's got the, the flick, you see, friends? He's doing the flick because he knows not to wreck his axes and he's only been doing it for a hundred years. Not got nice weight, Brian, eh? Yeah, not bad. It's about a five pounder. I think I like the he likes this stuff. He likes the wood bullet. Oh, Brian, he likes that. I, I can't disagree with him. Tin Man, we're going to, uh, we're going to run your, uh, your home light. It's just a stock chain. Sure is nice, Tin Man. You did a nice job of that. Yeah, that's lovely. Very nice. Remember that stock chain, friends. So after a grind, it's way different. So, friends, in closing, 
um, we got snow and snot and just, it's just going steady still. Just, oh, let's see that camera. Oh, this camera's sweet, bum. Look at my daughter's. Hey, where'd you get the shirt? Stand up and buck. Are you a power saw girl? That's crazy. Isn't that deadly fun? Oh my God. Yeah. Backwards five. Nice. <laughs> In closing, friends. I hooked up with Bear Claw years ago, friends. He packed me out of the bush a couple times. Actually, he packed me out the day I got smashed. Um, that was tough. That, that, was, that was a tough day. Um, that was a long time ago. The man said to me, Buckin, uh, this thing's nuts. He, he says it's the best axe he's ever split firewood with. He said that straight to me. <laughs> and I, I had a feeling... It might be because I've swung the same axe as he has, pretty much the Arvikas and, and some of these other axes through the years, you know. Uh, he's been around a lot longer than I have, but uh, that's a massive compliment for the wood bullet, friend. So there's been, uh, as you as you folks know, there's been a, a, a change. Uh, Jonah, the, the young blacksmith we were working with, has decided as not he can't do it. So... We, we, it was mutual. We just decided this is not going to happen. So the wood bullet now is just, it's still happening. It's just going to happen differently. That's all. Yeah. And that guy that you saw in the video here, he might have something to do with it. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to go flapping off, but uh, he loved it. I, I, it's up with him right now. And... You see that big butt that I was standing, that big fur log there? I asked him if he could save a piece for us so that we can get that two man up there and rip through there. I'm just in the process of filing it. Donnie Walker, I love you. Uh, Donnie's starting a channel, friends. Donnie Walker. Uh, it's going to be good. There's so much on the go right now here. I'm just so grateful for YouTube and the community and you people that come here. So, friends, let's start thumbing up in these videos and sharing them. And uh, doing, what, doing what we do on YouTube. If you like it, you know what to do. If you don't, you know what to do. Because these things go either way. Too bad we didn't have one that went that way. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Kind of, uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, friends, we'll talk to you all soon. Be kind to one another. Well, it is, uh, friends, uh, good morning to you. <laughs> it's been a long time, I know. Um, friends, I just is stopping in for a minute on the video and friends I have not been here for a long time and I've been in the old country most of you know who I am uh, my name is Sven uh, I've been with Billy for a long time uh, we have got the snow on the garage here uh, the, the truck is uh, my wife's Jeep I'm driving and uh, friends I want to say to a very very good friend of mine uh, who is part of the channel he is one man who has shown his true colors early on in the game his name is Maka we call him the Maka he's a man uh, living in the down under areas of the world uh, he is one man with a passion for a tree cutting son of a gun Friends, he was not doing the tree cutting. Uh, he was on another job. But he told me after I was rambling on one time about something or other about their spirits being fulfilled. And that time is not our best friend. Friend. He told me, Billy, uh, I want to thank you for uh, this message you have sent me, uh, or at least that I have picked up. Uh, I'm going to follow my dreams and I'm going to be a tree man. Friends, oh boy, oh boy. He has embarked on a journey. So long and the, long and the short, friends, uh, Sven gets a message from this Maka telling me that he has quit his job and he is following his passion. Friends, so he is working for a tree man in the down under. He's working for a tree service. Smart move, Maka. Your spirit now, your hands will be dirty. You will get barked up and scratched and rough and tough, friend. I'm very happy for you, my friend. 
Friends, help me this morning uh, wishing this man a happy birthday. It is, a, it is, it is birthday. It is the man Maka is birthday. Friends, I'm trying the new camera on the facing me. I hope it is working okay for you for the for the view on the camera. Sven wanted to pop in and say hi to everybody. I hope everybody has a great day. Follow your dreams and passions like the Maka. Maka, we love you, buddy. Happy birthday to you. Friends, be kind.